Tonight's lesson, Everyday Math 11.5, is on finding volume by displacement. So we have been looking at how to find the volume of a prism, how to find the volume of a cone, how to find the volume of various shapes that we have formulas for. But what do we do when we want to find the volume of an irregular shape? We can't use a formula, so one way to come up with the volume is to use displacement. And you'll be doing this in class tomorrow with a number of different irregular objects. So you're going to be calibrating your containers tomorrow in class. I'm going to have you do that first. And then you're going to fill up the container with a specific amount of liquid. Note the level of the liquid and then put the object into the container and measure again. So what's going to happen is as you put the rock in or some other object from your desk, the water level will rise because the object is displacing the water that was there. So the difference between the original water level and the water level after placing the object in the container is equal to the volume of the object. So take a look at these two test tubes. And the one on the left, you can see uh, the water level where it is. And then here's this irregular object. And once it's placed inside the test tube, you'll notice that the water level rises. So you're going to go ahead and calculate what is the volume of this object based on how much water does it displace. On this slide, you can see that there is a rock dropped into this particular test tube. And notice the units it gives you is cubic centimeters. Okay, so you're going to let me know the volume of that rock in cubic centimeters. And lastly, you are going to figure out the volume of this yellow object here. Again, just by looking at volume before, uh, volume on the cylinder afterwards, and find the difference. All right, so that's it. We will have um, a quite a bit of fun tomorrow doing this very th thing, displacing um, the liquid with a number of objects. One of them is your fist, which is about the same size as your heart. So we'll be kind of figuring out, ooh, how much uh, will be the volume of your heart? That's one of the things we'll be figuring out. Okay, so make sure you take notes, show your work, and write down your answers for these questions, and make sure you ask any questions that you have before tomorrow. All right.